TT here and today I am going to be talking about how Royal High is not beginner friendly. Alright, so before the video starts, please make sure to like and subscribe and follow all of my socials, they will be linked in the description. And without further ado, let me get into this video now. So this topic is not originally mine. This comes from a YouTuber called Clea aka Divorce Clear Babe. She is a Royal High Opinions YouTuber just like me and she makes really good opinions. Please check her out and I did get this video idea from her. So please check her out to give her some support even though she has not uploaded in a while. And yeah, let me start getting into this video. So Royal High is not beginner friendly in two major ways. When a player initially joins the game tutorial wise and how a player is able to get currency in the game and buy all of the items in the game that way wise <laughs> now i want to talk about how a player initially joins the game and how they are introduced to the game when a player joins the game they are immediately flung into castle's heart and i actually needed to make a new account to confirm that when you joined into rail high that you are not introduced to the story mode and how the game actually works you are immediately flung into rail high with all of this gui on your side and you wouldn't know what to do unless you played the story mode and the story mode is the only way of how you would know how to play the game and what all of the GUI on your side is actually supposed to do when you finally finish the tutorial of when you get your powers and when you eventually get into Poppy's office and she explains what each of all of the buttons on your menu side is supposed to do. Now because Royal High is a game with a bunch of things that you could do in Royal High, I think that Royal High should have some sort of tutorial put in place a normal person wouldn't know that trading is a thing unless they pressed teleport button and they saw that trading hub was a thing a normal person wouldn't know that two other campuses existed before the campus they joined in campus one and campus two and they wouldn't know that you get the original welcome package badge in campus one unless they just decided to join campus one on a whim and a normal person wouldn't know that you could go into a different realm to play a different mini game like battle ala royale or they wouldn't know that if you clicked into the campus three section they there were actually two classes that you could go to in XP and luckily when you first join there you get a little introduction from puppy herself that when you first join in this is what the class is you wouldn't initially know that that these classes are used to earn xp to level up unless you actually play the game and i mean i get that concept but i mean it would be nice if royal high were to you know tell you that this is how you can earn xp puppy doesn't explicitly say that you can earn xp this way like the game never actually tells you how you can actually earn xp like you need to figure that out for your damn self and when you are in the office poppy actually gives you a free level if you decide to do the story mode and a lot of people would have probably skipped past this part because a lot of people when you first join into royal high would just press play like you wouldn't know this shit unless you played the story mode and that's just the general problem that i have with royal high a lot of new players wouldn't know how to play rail high and how to do certain things in rail high without a coherent tutorial on how to do things like level up or what to even do in royal high but yeah i generally think that's all i have to say on that because i generally think that royal high should have a tutorial in place because of how much mechanics there are in the game so i'm going to move on to the second part of the video which is royal high being not so currency friendly now if you were to press shop there are a lot of items in the game that you can buy with diamonds and here's the thing with that right there are a lot of sets in the game that cost diamonds that you can buy with royal high diamonds but here's the problem with that there are like three ways to get diamonds in the game you can either buy it from shop you can 
beg for diamonds in trading hub or you can level farm for diamonds now i'm going to start with level farming if you do not have the diamond multipliers which is the times two and the times four multipliers which cost over 2000 robux to get you will not move a single inch in diamonds and mind you the last set that we got that costed diamonds in royal high was the starlight set and that costed over 200,000 diamonds when royal high set themselves on the royal high vals account on twitter that none of the royal high sets would exceed over 100k diamonds so that was just a blatant lie just a fyi to anybody that wanted to know that fact and here is another fact when you level up you only get 300 diamonds as your level up reward and if you were to level up 75 times from level 1 to level 75 to get to trading hub and if you somehow didn't spend any of those diamonds you would only have 20 22,500 diamonds in your diamond count 22,000 diamonds cannot buy you shit in royal high these starlight snakes alone cost 77k and like a lot of the items in shop are unnecessarily overpriced and you you actually can't buy shit in royal high without having to buy the diamond multipliers and that just proves to show that you really can't succeed in looking like rich in royal high without having to spend actual money to buy robux to buy royal high diamonds to buy the game passes or to buy direct diamonds from the diamond shop that just kind of shows how royal high is just money hungry in a way because you literally can't get anywhere in royal high without having to buy stuff compared to like astro renaissance for example without having to buy any of the items or any of the game passes if you level up you get 1200 moonstone and leveling up in astro renaissance is relatively easy i did want to make a video on astro renaissance on that if you guys want to see it please put it down in the comments but it is generally easier to get a lot of the set items that are available in astro renaissance than royal high and that is just an example by the way and then again profit trading a lot of people wouldn't know how to profit trade i have brought this up several times in the past and as clear would have brought up in her own video the dorm prices if you would go into dorms and all of the dorm prices are just very overpriced and dorms is also a necessity as well because in order to do certain quests in the game you are going to need to buy certain items like the brush for the brushing hair quest and you're going to need to buy a toothbrush for the brush teeth quest and you're going to need to buy a bed for the nap time quest and like for royal high to only have the level up reward as 300 diamonds still is fucking insane to me bro <laughs> like a lot of stuff just need to be generally updated and it just isn't being updated and a normal person joining into royal high just wouldn't have a clue of how to play royal high unless they saw a youtuber playing it so i think that's generally all i had to say about both of the topic and if you have anything to add on to it please put it down in the comments and yeah i think that's all i wanted to talk about if you guys like the video make sure to like and subscribe and see ya